Dear's Daughters, it's a play by Elaine Fenstein, Feinstein and the Women's Theatre Group. That was what it was originally called and it was written uh, back in 1987 and first performed by the Women's Theatre Group. Um, it's a sort of prequel to King Lear, to Shakespeare's play. Um, a backstory, if you like, exploring the lives of the three daughters, Goneril, the eldest, Regan, the middle daughter, and Cordelia, their childhood. And really uh, a look into what caused, if you like, their behaviour in later life. Um, because in Shakespeare's King Lear, people usually think Goneril and Regan are these evil, these wicked women who are so horrible to their father. And this sort of poses the question in a way, well, why did they turn out the way that they do in that play? Was it their nature? You know, is evil something that just exists in a person? Or was it their nurture? And when we look at their upbringing, and when we look at what happens in Shakespeare's play, we can see that their father was um, tyrannical, was a very vain, arrogant man, and the way his daughters were treated brings about certain consequences. And so Lear's daughters is this sort of um, probing into their uh, childhood and adolescence. Um, and to also see, well, there's no mother in Shakespeare's King Lear. What happened to the Queen? Mm -hmm. um, did she die? How did she die? Uh, there's no son either, three daughters. So how, how was that for them in a, what was a very patriarchal society? Um, so there's a, there's a lot to it. It's a very, it's an interesting, imaginative uh, look at their early lives. The Royal Shakespeare Company has a project called the Open Stages Project. And that is um, principally to encourage and to foster the links between amateur theatre and professional theatre. And to encourage um, an interest in Shakespeare and Shakespeare related plays, performances. And I was asked would I be interested in uh, directing something for the Open Stages project. So I said well uh, maybe and then I thought "Ooh, I don't want to do a full-length Shakespeare play because we've already done Midsummer Night's Dream and Much Ado About Nothing and they, I think, they're very accessible. But as part of the project, it doesn't have to be a Shakespeare play or, or a full-length one. It can be a modern play on a Shakespeare theme. And with that in mind, I took to the internet and I saw the title, Lear's Daughters, and I thought, hmm, I wonder what that's about. It took some time to get hold of a script, but eventually we managed to do that. And I read it and I thought it was fascinating. I thought it was really interesting, something very different. Um, the play production team had a look at it and decided that they thought it was worth doing. And that's how I came to let myself in for the job. I have never directed at Bolton Little Theatre before. Um, I joined the theatre way back in 1976 and I have enjoyed acting at the theatre for all these years. I have been asked in the past would I be interested in directing and I've always said no because there was always a part that I was more keen to do and be on the stage. Plus, uh, I, I, was, I was teaching um, in the earlier years, 
teaching English and drama in a school and so acting was my escape and I think directing probably would have felt more like work. So I've never done any. Um, but when I was asked about this, I thought, well, maybe it's time. Maybe after all these years, I'll have a go. <laughs> it may be my first and last venture <laughs> into acting. I'm just waiting for somebody to say, stick to acting, June.